Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is best time to buy and sell stock. So in this question, we are given an array called prices and each element inside the prices array denotes the price of a stock on that particular day. So these six numbers represent the price of the stock on that particular day. So on the first day, the price is this. On the second day, the price is this and so on. On the sixth day, the price is this. And the task is to return the maximum profit. So to make profit, you have to first buy the stock and then sell a stock on a future day. So before buying, you can't sell the stock in this question. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. So I've taken the same examples I've given us. So this is the prices array and each element inside this array represents the price of a stock on a particular day. So one way to earn money in the stock market is to first buy the stock and wait for it to grow and then sell the stock at a profit. So there's a trivia question here. Can you also tell me other way to earn money in the stock market? What is that process called? A hint is that it is the opposite of what I mentioned and that is how most of the money is made by the big players in the stock market. And also there's a very famous movie and that movie revolves around this concept inside the stock market. So anyway, coming back to our question. So here we have to buy the stock at a less price and sell it at a future day to earn money by making profit. So here you can see if you buy the stock on this day, it's worth $1. And if you sell the stock on this day, it is worth $6 and you make a profit of $5. So to solve this question, we are going to iterate through the nums array from left to right. So we start with the first element and we process the array until we reach the last element. So we start off with the first element. So I will be pointing here. And in each iteration, we have to find the minimum value. So I'm going to declare a variable, which is initially going to be 2 power 31, the maximum possible value. So we are going to check if i is less than minimum. Yes, i is less than minimum. So assign that as minimum. So 7 will be minimum now. And now we have to find out the profit. So the current price of i is 7 and the minimum is also 7. So profit is 0 now. And now we have to compare our current profit with the max profit. Max profit will be initially 0. So current profit is 0 and max profit is 0. So max profit will also remain 0. Now we go for the next iteration. I is pointing here. Find the minimum. Minimum will be compared with the current element with the existing minimum. 1 is less than 7. So update minimum. So 1 is the minimum until now. And now find the profit. Current price is 1 and minimum is also 1 so profit is remaining 0 and check if you can update the max profit profit is 0 ma current max profit is also 0 so this will remain 0 and we go for the next iteration next iteration i is pointing here check if the current element is less than min no phi is greater than min so min will stay the same and now we have to find the profit current element is pointing at phi and minimum is 1 so profit is 4 and now we have to update our profit current profit is 4 and max profit was 0, max profit will be updated to 4. Now go for the next iteration. Check if i is minimum until now. 3 is not less than 1, so 1 will remain as the minimum. Now find the profit. Element at i is 3, current minimum is 1, so profit is 2. Current profit is 2, existing profit was 4, so 4 will remain as the max profit. Now go for the next iteration. i is pointing here. Check it with the current minimum. 6 is greater than 1, so 1 will remain as the minimum. Now prices of i is 6, current minimum is 1, so profit is 5. So update the max profit, current profit is 5, existing max profit was 4, maximum among them is 5, so update it to 5 and go for the next iteration. Current element is 4, which is greater than minimum, so minimum will remain as 1. Now update the profit, prices of i is 4, minimum is 1, profit is 3. Current profit is 3, earlier max profit was 5. So 5 will remain as the max profit. And in the next iteration, you reach the end of the array and you can end the iteration. And outside the for loop, whatever is present inside this max profit will be returned as the output. Now let's take a look at the code. Coming to the function, this is the function name and this is the prices array given to us. And the return type is an integer. So we have to return an integer which denotes the maximum profit. So I declare a variable max profit and initialize it to 0 because we have to return 0 if there is no max profit. And I'm going to declare an integer variable called minimum, which, which is used to find the minimum element inside the array. So first I'm going to assign it with the maximum possible value that is integer dot max value. So that next time any value below this will be assigned to min. So let's start off by iterating through the prices array from the starting index till the end of the prices array. And the first step is to find the minimum element. So you compare the current element price with the existing minimum. If it is less than minimum, so assign that element to the minimum. So this will happen for every iteration. And after finding the minimum, you have to find the current profit. 
So current profit can be found out by subtracting minimum from the prices of i. That is the current price of the stock and you have the current profit. Now you have to see if this is the maximum profit you earned until now, right? For that you are going to compare current profit with the max profit. So if current profit is greater than max profit, we have to assign current profit to max profit. So this will happen for every day and the number of days is the length of the price array. And once you read the last day, you can come out of the for loop and return whatever is present inside the max profit variable. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the price array and the space complexity is constant O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.